Hello and welcome to a video on quadratic equations brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video we will start looking at the basics of quadratic equations. A quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught. When solving a simple quadratic equation, you always put it in standard form first. In other words, you need to write it as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and then you factorize. And then don't forget, if a times b is zero, then either a is zero or b is zero. So if you want the product of two things to be equal to zero, the only way you can get that is if one of them must be equal to zero. I've got four examples here. I want you to pause the video, I want you to try these, and then we'll look at them together. So in the first example, I've got two brackets multiplied to give me zero. So how do I get two things to multiply to give me zero? One of them has got to be equal to zero. So either x plus 3 equals zero, in other words, x is equal to minus 3. Or x minus 7 must be zero, in other words, x must be equal to 7. In 1.2, the same thing, two brackets multiply to give you zero, so either 3x minus 2 is zero, so x is 2 over 3, or 4 plus x is zero, so x is minus 4. Number 1.3, I've got a bracket squared equal to zero. Well, what times itself is equal to zero it has to be zero. So x minus 3 must be equal to zero. In other words, x is equal to 3. In 1.4, it looks different in that I don't have two brackets, but I still have x times a bracket. And how do I get the product of two factors to equal zero? One of them must be equal to zero. So either x is equal to zero or 2x minus 7 must be equal to 0. So my answers are x is 0 or x is equal to 7 over 2. Question number 2. You haven't been given these in factorized form, so you need to factorize them first. I want you to pause the video. I want you to try these and then we'll look at them together. In the first example, you take out a common factor of 3x and you're left with a bracket x minus 2. So either 3x is 0, well 3 times what gives me 0, x must just be equal to 0. Or x minus 2 must be 0, in other words x must be equal to 2. In number 2.2, it's not in standard form, so the first thing to do is take the minus x across. So you get x squared plus x equals 0. Take out a common factor. Two things multiply to give you 0, so either x is 0 or x plus 1 is 0. In other words, x is equal to minus 1. The next one has three examples. I want you to pause the video, I want you to try these, and then we'll look at them together. In the first example, I've got 4x squared minus 9. That's difference of two squares. So either 2x minus 3 is 0, in which case x is 3 over 2. Or 2x plus 3 is 0, so x is minus 3 over 2. Question number 3.2 I can do in two ways. One way I can do it is to set up a quadratic equation. So take the 25 across and I get x squared minus 25 equals 0. That's difference of two squares. So each bracket will give me a value for x. Alternatively, I can take the square root on both sides, but you need to be very, very careful. This is a quadratic equation and a quadratic equation needs two answers. 
I know there are times when a quadratic equation, the two answers can be the same, but if you've got x squared equals 25, you need two answers to this. So what times itself is 25? Well, we know that 5 times 5 is 25. However, minus 5 times minus 5 is also 25. So if you're going to do it this way, just be very, very careful. When you take the square root, x could be plus or minus 5. 3.3, you were given x squared is minus 25. Now you've got to think, what times itself is negative 25? Well, 5 times 5 is 25. Minus 5 times minus 5 is 25. What times itself is minus 25? There is no real value. No real number, when multiplied by itself, will give you a negative. So your answer to this is no real solution. Example number four. There are four examples here. I want you to pause the video. I want you to try them, and then we'll look at them together. In the first one, I've got a trinomial. So factorize the trinomial into its two brackets. Either x minus four is zero, so x is four, or x minus five is zero, so x is five. Question number 4.2. Again, I've got a trinomial. You will notice that there's a common factor. So I divide everything by minus 2. Minus 12x squared divided by minus 2. Plus 10x divided by minus 2. Plus 12 divided by minus 2. 0 divided by minus 2. So everything is divided by minus 2. Factorize the trinomial and you get your two solutions. Question number 4.3. I need to take the x across and I need to write it in standard form. So write it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Factorize the trinomial and I get my two solutions. Question number 4.4, I've got an equation with fractions. So I multiply every term by my denominator. So 6x times x, minus 4 over x times x, 5 times x. Write it in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught. Factorize the trinomial and there are your two answers. Thank you for watching this video, brought to you by the Answer Series. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.